All right, thank you, Taylor. So important to know about those resources. Well, next tonight, a welcome sight for drivers along the New York State Thruway. Some of the rest stops are now redone and back open for business, but not all travelers are excited for the changes, and it could prove a very costly project for taxpayers. The plan to redevelop all 27 thruway service areas began in 2021 as a public-private partnership. At the time, it had a price tag of $450 million. In return, developers would have a long lease on the properties and collect some of the profits. But now there are new reports that some contractors want an early payday from your tax dollars. While well, some travelers told me today they're waiting patiently to see some of these changes for themselves. The saying goes, no pain, no gain. But for travelers looking for lunch at the Angola rest stop, perhaps grin and bear it is more appropriate. Yeah, I've been to this one since I was probably six years old. What do you make of it today? Uh, kind of disappointed <laughs> that everything's gone. Yes, the once bustling travel stop featuring McDonald's and Cinnabon is now reduced to pre-made sandwiches and a single subway. The issue is temporary with major renovations on the horizon, but for travelers looking for a break and a quick bite. It's essentially dead, but I did get my coffee. <laughs> the lack of options left Jalen Check and Takesha Tolliver going with the tried and true Pringles. Eating chips for lunch, what do you make of that? Um, it kind of sucks. We're starving, you know, so first time coming out this way, um, you know, no blame placed or anything, but I just think if someone was looking for improvement, this would be the perfect place to make sure there's like a full functioning food court. And that's the plan, with the Thruway Authority currently working through a $450 million project to modernize the 27 service areas along the New York State Thruway. The project boasts expanded food concepts, new restaurant offerings, and amenities. Work started in the summer of 2021 and will roll out in stages. Five of the renovated rest stops are already back online. The Thruway Authority tells me another five should be ready to go by the summer. It's an issue that has caught the eye of New York State Assembly member Michael Norris, who represents parts of Niagara and Erie counties. A big part of the industry along the thruway are people shoving in Niagara Falls, which is in our neck of the woods. And I want to make sure that when individuals and buses and charter buses are coming to Niagara Falls this summer, that they have appropriate stops that are accommodating along the way. And I want to make sure the thruway authority takes that into consideration when they do additional stops. Then another wrinkle, money. The Buffalo News reporting one of the construction companies involved in the project is looking for more than $200 million from the state to help with cost overrun. LaChase releasing a statement to me saying in part that it, quote, continues to work with stakeholders to address challenges on the project due to unprecedented global price escalation and supply chain issues. Governor Kathy Hochul's office issuing this response saying, quote, the governor's office and the Thruway Authority have been working closely with Apple Green to deliver on their contract to replace rest areas along the thruway. Now work at the Pembroke and Clarence Thruway stops already well underway. Both do remain closed during those upgrades. Work at the Angola rest stop where we spent some time today is scheduled for phase two of construction. So down the road a bit, fuel stops at all service areas do remain open during this work.